Here, throw it to me, see if I can catch it while it's spinning. Okay. Oh, oh you did it fail. with Devin, you did it with Devin. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Levi's World. Today we will be doing, uh, what are we going to do? I think it's something about 2017. So we just had New Year's and 2017 is gone and now we're in... 2018? 2017 had some really weird and silly trends. So we're going to go through some of the top trends of 2017 and see what Levi, what Levi thinks about them. So some of them are pretty wacky. So Levi's going to decide whether we take it or leave it. Do we leave it in 2017? Or was it a good enough trend for us to take into 2018? Yay! Yay! Yeah! Are you ready? All right. Number one, fidget spinners. So... Fidget spinners have actually been around since as early as 1993, but became all of the hype in April of 2017. Do you even know what fidget spinners were originally for? Yes. For what? They were originally for kids to have confidence in their hands for, like, writing and stuff. It's kind cool. of. They were for kids with autism um, and kids with, uh, with ADHD, so autism and attention deficit hyperactive disorder to give them something else to focus on while they completed tasks so it allowed them to kind of fidget with something else while they did stuff what did you think about fidget spinners i think we should bring them into 2018 you think we should keep them yeah so here we got a blue fidget spinner and a captain america one the captain america one's pretty cool you can see the lines it looks like the lines are going down or the lines are going up. It's kind of cool. So we were definitely on board of the fidget spinner hype. Oh. <laughs> we were definitely on board the fidget spinner hype in 2017. So we're going to take it. Mm -hmm. Levi is voting that we take it into 2018. Oh, here's a video. Let's see. Nice fidget glasses, kid. This song goes out to all the spinners out there. Just keep spinning. <laughs> like a... I love fidget spinners from my head to my toes. I even love one spinning right here on my nose. Got one on my left, another on my right. I'll be out here spinning from the morning to the night. Hold up for a minute and just watch me as I spin it. All right, number two trend of 2017, men's rompers. Do you know what rompers are? Yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> what do you think about that? We should leave that because that looks weird. Would you ever wear that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we taking it or leaving it? Leave it. 2018. I don't even know how this ever became a thing. Number three. Squiggly eyebrows. So this became pretty hype in 2017. YouTubers coming out with videos on how to do this. And it looks like that. Ah! <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about that? I get a super F and thumbs down. So should girls take it or leave it? Okay, well done. All right, number four, homemade slime. So <laughs> you, you've you made homemade slime before, right? Yeah. So this was actually the number one how-to Google search of 2017. That means when people go to google.com, they type in the search bar, how to blank. They typed in how to make homemade slime more than... Over a million people searched how to make homemade slime. Ooh, you like homemade slime, right? Yeah. Maybe we'll have to do some how-to videos on how to make homemade slime. Should, um, we, should we take it or leave it? 
We don't really do it anymore, so I think I'm like I'm a thumbs up in and down. So I'm like I'm in the medium zone right here now. Medium zone on homemade slime. I like homemade slime. <laughs> I've been making homemade slime when I was a little kid. We made homemade slime. So when I was your age, grandma made homemade slime and used basically the exact same recipe that people use today. I don't know why in 2017 all of a sudden it went crazy, but it did. And next up, Salt Bay. So in February of this year, we met a guy, Turkish chef Nusrit Gotchki or Golki or got something. Do you know what Bay means? Um, no. Bay is kind of like what boyfriend and girlfriends call each other. Like, hey, Bay, Get off you're my Bay. No. <laughs> kind of like that. So that's mostly for girls. So uh, this guy became famous because of this video he put on Instagram. We get this wonderful scene of him putting salt. He's going. And I guess, like, because girls thought he was handsome, so he became, like, the biggest meme of 2017 because of that. I did Or... <laughs> Just put it right in your mouth? <laughs> yeah. A mouthful of salt? Do you, do you, do you think he's beautiful? <laughs> I mean, the girls the girls love Salt Bay. Leave That's it. That's why I got the name. Leave mm. Salt Bay? Leave Famous Salt Bay in 2017. All right, the floor is lava. Chalo, the floor is lava. All right, so in 2017, the floor is lava became a challenge and became like it trended. And uh, basically, people played the game. You know what the game is, right? You just yes. pretend the floor is One, lava. Two, people have... three. <gasps> oh, oh. People have been playing that for years. Um, but they made videos about it. Yeah, who wants to watch some? Who wants to watch some kid like like one two three? The floor's a lava. So what 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 do we think about this? Take it or leave it. Leave it. Leave well, it. Well, leave the video part, but then take the game part in. Because the game's fun. We want yeah. other kids to enjoy the game for years, but leave making videos about it in 2017. Unless you're putting it special effects where you actually make the floor look Well, that's already been done, too. Leave that. Leave it all. Except for the game. April the Giraffe. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can a giraffe be one of the most popular things in 2017? And the answer is, I don't know. But millions of people... About 1.5, 1.8 million people tuned in live to watch a live stream on YouTube of April the giraffe having a baby giraffe. I don't think we should watch it. It's kind of disgusting in a way. Yeah, I don't think we should watch it either. Like, would those same people want this... uh, one million people to watch them having a baby? No, that would be disgusting. Mom. And then they're just putting all the pressure on a giraffe. They're putting so much pressure on poor April. Yeah. Nobody they're... stopped to think about that. I'm like, guys, it's it's having a baby. You should give it personal space here. Would you want people to to watch you have a baby? You're putting all the pressure on the giraffe. Like it would be it would also be a disgusting thing to look at. It would be horrible. In disgusting way. The next one is the invisible the box, invisible box challenge. challenge. They put down an invisible box and they act like they're stepping on it and stepping over it, but there's not really a box there. And this went bananas in 2017. All kinds of people posting videos of this invisible box challenge. There even one girl this cheerleader, they said, is the number one challenger in the world. I don't even know how you become the number one at stepping on an invisible box, but they said she is. Wait, is there even anything there? There's nothing there. It's invisible. It's fake. It's just imaginary box. It should be called the imaginary box challenge. Yeah, she's a box. Oh, pretty good job. So you got to show something there. Yeah, 
the box. Step on it. You move your foot now. That was better. What do you think? You like it? I think you like it. Yeah, I like it, but it's also showing off. Okay. Alright, next up, one word. Despacito. <laughs> this is how we do a little rum. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> he never gets Puerto Rico right. Alright, Despacito. Number one song of 2017. The number one most watched YouTube video of all time. Despacito. This is how we do it around Puerto Rico. Down in Puerto Rico. Snap! This is how we do it down in Puerto Rico. We have Spanish. Or something like that. So take it or leave it. <laughs> take it, take definitely. It. I say we can take that. Yeah, we can take it. We can take that. All right, last up. But not least. Last but not least, the Backpack Kid. Now this is is a kid that went viral in 2017 because of a dance called Flossin'. All right, we're gonna watch this video to see how he floss. See what you think about the backpack kid. I mean, this kid blew up, been on TV, in music he videos, all kinds of Saturday stuff. Night Saturday Night Live, concerts. And so was born the legend of Backpack Kid. 10th grader Russell Horning is a sensation. Recognized wherever he goes. Backpack Kid! Now, Backpack Kid is in New York. Like the Pied Piper, he leads his fans through Times Square. They can't get enough of his deadpan expression. And his All right, now watch how to do it so we can try it. Out, across, behind. Out, Out across, across, behind. After a quick lesson, swish, swish, he cranks up the music, and Times Square was rocking with Backpack Kid Mania. What do you think about that dance? I think it's kind of good. I got to dance kind of like that. Is that your dance? It's the Levi Kid. The Levi Levi World Dance. Why is your tongue sticking out? <laughs> I don't know. Right, I just sit down. So what do you think about the Backpack Kid? Take it or leave it. I don't think the Backpack Kid's going anywhere. I think sky's the limit for this kid. He's a hustler. I think he's going to keep going up. I think we should take him. Leave it. You think we should leave him? Yeah, I want to leave him. <laughs> Once it starts going fast, I can't do it. So look, look, look. Okay. Stand here beside me. All right. So look, you go out. And when you go that way, you kind of move your body, your hip a little bit this way, just a little bit. You're not going here, just a little bit. So you go out, behind, and you kind of go into it. Out, front, behind, out, front. I was doing good. Two thousand seventeen. Now we're in two thousand eighteen. See you later, YouTube. Um, but make sure to subscribe. Leave a thumbs up on my channel, but besides subscribe, there's a little bell on the bottom. Go ahead, cl click that bell for notification so you don't miss any of my videos. Levi, out! Dance style. Uh, uh, Levi, dance style. <laughs> can do that, though. Yeah, I bet the backpack kid can't do that. <laughs> you calling them out. <laughs> Alright, that's it.